Hey family, it's Tasha Marmara prepping. You already know what time it is, baby. Get your drink, pull up. Let's talk about it. So today, I just want to talk about the, the incoming hurricane. You know, people often ask me when things are about to happen, my thoughts on that. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the October 4th phone stuff. I've been getting some questions about the election. I've been getting my thoughts on the election, whether it will happen or not. I've been getting a lot of questions about, hey, what do you think about this weather? You know, we talk a lot about weather already, so, but still getting questions about um, weather and can I go deeper? You know, my Patreon account, that is where I'm able to really go down rabbit holes and really discuss really hardcore my opinions about different things um, that I just aren't, I'm not able to talk about over here. They wouldn't, they'd be, it's heavily, heavily censored over here um, on YouTube. But somebody asked me about the hurricanes and did I think that this year is going to be crazy? I mean, it's hurricane season. So, of course, my first thought is hurricanes are going to happen. That's a normal thing. And you should continue to just prepare, especially if you are a state that has to ever deal with hurricanes. And you should be thinking a little bit outside the box as far as their strength, as far as things changing. It's just it's no different than any other part of um, weather and how it's changing and how we're having to adapt to it. Right. We're having to adapt to different seasons, adapt to um, super heavy heat, um, super cold winter. I think we're going to have to deal with, um, you know, heavy, heavy storms, heavy blizzards, all of that in certain areas, freeze what that does to our grid all, all of those things right and so when I think of hurricane you know I think um like any storm if you have a storm the news is telling you it's coming I'm not saying panic and freak out but I'm saying you should be paying attention do not be one of these people that just is like I'm staying no matter what um because some stuff it, it makes sense for you to leave and to just pack a bag, have an evacuation bag ready and just go. Now, if you live in these areas, people already know this, right? People do this all the time. Yes, you have some people that hold out, but people also die. And some people make it, right? Just depends on the strength of the storm, where it hits, direct hit, indirect hit, all of that stuff, right? And a lot of times what's more dangerous than the actual hit is just all of the aftermath of the weather and the outer bands and what that causes, the flooding that that causes, the, you know, horrificness. Now, a lot of people this morning specifically are talking about, oh, it's it's going towards New York. It's going towards New York City. What's it going to do? You know, I don't know if you remember, but a few years back, they had a bad storm just a couple winters ago where they had horrific um, flooding. And they have had hurricanes come through that the outer bands and stuff did horrific damage because the way it's built, it's not, it's not conducive for flooding and for fighting flooding, right? And so when heavy, heavy rains happen, uh, a storm comes down and dumps a bunch of rain or a hurricane comes and, and they get those outer bands of, of rain and wind, it's not good for the city. And so if I'm living in those areas, if really I'm living anywhere in the East Coast, Possibly not as much Florida this time, but the rest, I'm, I'm paying attention. You should be paying attention to how close that thing is going to get and not be sleeping on, oh, well, it's not a direct hit, so I don't care. You should care because, um, you know, it's crazy to me how this last one went through. And then the East Coast, people didn't understand riptides and how what hurricanes do to the water and churning and changing. And people were out in the water going swimming and stuff for this last holiday, not realizing what that hurricane did to the atmosphere, to the wa to the water, to the waves, to just everything, the ocean in general, and how dangerous that could be. And you had all pe all sorts of people who were who were dying and drowning and getting caught in riptides and all types of stuff. Um, and it was and it was marked. I mean, it was all over the place that that stuff was high tides and like dangerous. Do not go down there. These beaches are closed. And people just didn't want to listen or they or they closed them after this stuff happened again even government imagine that not understanding the the severity of it um but i would be making sure that you have a bag packed that you have an evacuation plan now you know now um you know if you're in these areas they're saying there's a chance that you should be just knowing, hey, we've got our bag packed, we know where we're gonna go, whether that's a hotel, whether that's friends, whether that's family, whether it's a bug out location, whatever it is, but where would we go? And and at what point do we go where we get ahead of anybody else trying to evacuate in, in regards to travel and getting gas and being able to travel and not be stuck in traffic? Um, 
And maybe it's just planning a little mini vacay anyway and just getting as it gets closer, you just get out of the area. Now, I'm not saying this to downgrade um, what's happening, but I, I, I don't think that there's cause for panic. This thing is way far out. Could there still be um, something worse coming down the road? Of, of course, but that's why you prepare. That's why you um get ready for whatever it is whether it's just bad wind and and rain and you're getting you know a tropical storm essentially what that does for your property and where you live or if it's more serious and ends up being um more of a direct hit right and what does that mean and how do you fix it i think that that's horrific because you're talking about billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars we don't have and um i don't like it but this stuff keeps happening and this stuff is not going away and um and all you can do as somebody who prepares is it, it is the sole reason why we prepare is to be ready for these various things that could come your way and affect you and your family. And the whole point is so that you can be a little bit more comfortable. You can be a little bit more self-sufficient and not have to be so dependent on these entities and other people trying to come and save you and take care of you and provide for you in a situation that is nasty. Okay. Um, so this kind of feeds into all the other stuff. People keep asking me about October 4th. To be honest, I really don't care because it's not something that I can control, right? I've worked really hard the last probably six months to not get ramped up about stuff I can't control. Can't control um, any kind of evil plan and any kind of any, anything that they're trying to do on October 4th. Is this just a basic emergency broadcast fine? Is this just a phone check and device check because they want to get linked up with every single device and phone you know on the planet and no you know I don't know I, and I just don't care because um it's gonna be crazy and you have a lot of people really really ramping this up like all our phones will be off and no matter what you're doing you're get the phone's gonna go off it's gonna be crazy now let me tell you the only thing the only thing that concerns me just a tiny bit is the length of time that they're off because there will be panic. The sheep will panic. The sheep that aren't understanding that there's going to be an emergency broadcast that happens. And um, when it first happens, okay. Um, a, a panic. Okay. It says it's an emergency broadcast. It's just a, it's just a test. Okay. I'm not going to freak out. But if they have that off for any amount of time, that, that could really, really freak some people out. Especially if you do, it's one thing to have your phone your phone is on, it's working, you have an emergency broadcast, it pops up on your phone as a notification, no big deal, you're like, okay, easy peasy done. But people are making this seem like the, all the phones are gonna be, you're gonna get this and all the phones are gonna shut off or something, like just be, like completely power off. And that you can't power your phone off deliberately to not get it, right? Because people are worried about it being a tracking thing and all this stuff, right? Connecting phones to people and places and locations. Um, you know, and again, I can't control that. So I'm not that concerned about it. I am concerned with the stuff I'm hearing. And if it's true, why would you just turn off the phones? And why is it for, if, if, if it ends up being for any significant amount of time, what that could cause, what panic that could cause. But um, I'm not losing no sleep over October 4th and these phones getting shut off or whatever's supposed to happen. Emergency broadcasting system. I just don't. I'm, I'm just not putting that much stock into it. Now, could something bigger and better happen outside of that or that day or whatever? Sure, absolutely. Like I'm not a genie, right? I'm not, I'm not some kind of, you know, census that can just, you know, understand everything that's about to happen and tell you that. No, I'm just a normal chick um, with my normal thoughts and my normal opinions. That's it. Take it for what you want to take it for. Um, the other thing people have been asking me about uh, is, is Maui and a lot of that stuff. And I just kind of chose to move on from that. Right. Um, it happened. It's horrific. It's horrible. There is a lot of, lot of evil <laughs> all around that whole situation. And what I would say is chop it up to what I've chopped it up to. And I hate to say that as if I'm just so unfeeling, but, um, move it to prayer. Right. Um, that is a, that is a evil situation that needs to just be fought with God. Right. And prayer, because, um, I tell you what, it's, it's just horrific. It's not cool. Nothing that is coming out of that there as far as reports and what has happened and what did happen is good. None of it is good. And so, um, and it's scary to, to think that this is, this is where we're at. What just happened is where we're at. And, um, 
and you can only fight that with with God right with Jesus Christ okay so um anyway uh, you know I hope that you guys um are not taking everything so literal in the sense that you're losing sleep that you're feeling anxiety that you're getting stressed that you're depressed that you are feeling overwhelmed that you can't prepare or you don't we're running out of time it's the end of the world is coming i mean it can feel like that because things are pretty crazy right now um but you can do it little by little just keep pushing forward with what you're doing and um and we'll get through this together right and if you're in an area where you're anywhere up but down the the east coast i would just be watching um, very closely be watching the weather channel, watching the experts and seeing exactly where this path, um, you know, a lot of people don't watch the news and don't pay attention to stuff. This is the stuff that you pay attention to. Pay attention to while all this noise is going on. Do pay attention to where this is tracking so that you're not caught off guard. Okay. So you guys be well and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.